Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And listen, I pray that you are having a wonderful day. The God of the Bible is the only true and living God there is. And my friends, he is worthy to be praised. I got a question to ask you. Have you praised him today? Have you told the Lord, thank you? Have you acknowledged to him how his goodness, his kindness, and his tender mercy? Now, if you haven't, I want you to do it. Praise the Lord. Even if you stop and do it right now, just tell the Lord, thank you. I guarantee you uh, appreciation and gratefulness toward the Lord will actually literally transform your day. Sometimes, my friend, when, when you're having a horrible day, instead of reciting all of the horrible things that have taken place, just ex inhale and Exhale and just begin to tell the Lord, thank you. Give God a praise. And I guarantee you, it will change your atmosphere. It will change. It may not even change the situation, but it will change you. And anytime we, we praise the Lord, then we open ourselves up for the divine intervention. And as believers, we're not the kind of believers who just simply praise the God of the Bible when everything is going our way. We praise him because he's worthy to be praised. And the Bible says in Psalm 150, let everything that have breath praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord. So I pray that you've praised him today. And if you haven't, then take the time to tell the Lord, the God of the Bible, tell him, thank you. Give him a praise. It will bless you. It'll bring that blood pressure down. It will relieve a little, to take a little stress off of you. You know, uh, in these stressful times, praise is a stress reliever. Praise is a stress releaser. It is, uh, it will cause us to even feel, as I forementioned, better. Now, I'm excited about all of the wonderful things that's going on. And one of the wonderful things that's taking place is that this week we are in our sixth annual Women's Convention of North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Can you believe it? Can you believe six years have passed and the Lord has blessed our jurisdiction Sometimes, my friend, I, I wonder where does the time go? Uh, our supervisor, Mother Beverly DeJanay, uh, she blessed us during the day today. As a matter of fact, uh, the word that she preached today is still on my heart and mind because a huge part of her message was dedicated to praising the Lord. So here I am coming on today, inspiring you and encouraging you to, to praise the Lord. And uh, tonight we have a special special woman of God who is going to be preaching here. Yes, my Thursday night friends, but this woman of God is worthy of your t tuning into. Yes, my friends, I will not be speaking tonight, but I will be here. I will be a part of the service. I am excited about the service. Uh, Mother Supervisor Diane Bogan from uh, Great Lakes, uh, first jurisdiction in uh, Detroit, Michigan. Her prelate is my dear friend, Bishop Michael Hill. We've been friends for almost 40 years now. What a mighty man of God he is. And I tell you, I praise the Lord for our relationship with uh, uh, Supervisor. Bogan. She's a dear friend of my wife. She's a dear friend of mine. She's been uh, here many times. And I'll tell you, the lady can flat out preach and she's armed with a word from the Lord. And if you missed last night, you missed a treat. I might be a little biased. I may be a little biased, but my wife, Pamela, uh, ministered the word of God last night. She preached women or woman arise and God used her in a mighty way. And uh, uh, on, uh, on uh, Friday night, yours truly, tomorrow night, I will be preaching in uh, the women's convention. And I want you to come back. I want you to come back uh, because God has given me something that I want to share with you. The theme for the women's convention is women called 
and available, called and available. And the moment uh, I I was given this theme from the supervisor that she prayed and sought God on, on and uh, she told me what the theme was, the Lord spoke to my heart. The Lord put a, a, a word in my spirit and it's one, my friends, that I don't believe that you can afford uh, to miss. Well, to be honest with you, I feel this way about everything that God gives me to preach because the word of God is so valuable. A word from the Lord will change your life. A word from the Lord, a word from the word of the Lord is what we all need. And I'm telling you, God has spoken to me. He has armed me with a word uh, for the people of God. And the Lord is going to bless us in a mighty way. And Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 11 says this, a word fitly spoken is as apples of gold in pitchers of silver. That is a word from the Lord, fitly spoken, a uh, spoken and applied the right way is to put it succinctly, a thing of beauty. <laughs> the word of God, a thing of beauty, a thing of value, a thing that can change your life. And my friends, this is why here at the Upper Room, there is such a uh, an embracing and a celebration and an and insistence upon preaching, teaching, preaching and teaching the word of the Lord. Whether you scream it, whisper it, hoop it or talk it as long as it's the word of God, then we are going to be fine here. Now we're living in a time where there are so many things going on. I'm sure you've uh, tuned in and seen some of the things that have taken place as the generals and different people were brought before uh, the, uh, the, our elected representatives to give an account of the, of the disaster that took place uh, and with our uh, withdrawal from uh, Afghanistan. We, we need to pray on that situation. There are still people who helped us uh, left over there. We need to pray uh, with the things that have taken place on the border. We need to pray for our nation as we are on one hand telling even members of the NBA, you cannot uh, play and get paid unless you're vaccinated. But on the other hand, leaving our southern border open and allowing just thousands of people to come in who haven't been tested at all. I, I fail to see. I cannot understand. I can't balance this. It makes no sense to me. Whereas citizens, their livelihoods, their job, their livelihoods are being threatened unless you do what uh, 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 you are told. And on the other hand, they're allowing non-citizens to just pour into the country with no knowledge of their uh, vaccination status at all. And then flying these people or busing these people into the interior of the country and dropping them off. My friends, I tell you, this is a very different day and a very different time uh, than anything that I've ever seen in my life. But I'm not afraid. I'm not disturbed because I know God loves me. And I know that you know that the Lord loves you. So tomorrow night, tomorrow night, I really, I really want to give a hint. Uh, and I think I will this time. Here's the hint. The hint is the, hint is the theme. Worshiping servants, women called and available. So I want to talk about being called and being available and, uh, and the providence of God. I want you to know that God has a plan for you. God has a plan. God has a plan and it is the will of the Lord that you fit in his plan. He has a plan, but it is his will that we fit in his plan. I, want, I don't want the Lord to anoint me to have my way. I want the Lord to anoint me to do his will.
God, help me find the path that you have, that you've established. Help me to walk in the good old way, the paths that you've established for people to walk in. And if I can just do that, I believe that my life will be blessed, will be enriched, and will be filled. And my friends, so will yours. All we got to do is to serve the Lord, find the good old paths, and walk therein. And if we do it, God is going to bless us real good. Now, my time is up for the day. I love you. I love you. I love this book. I thank God for every one of you. And we're excited tonight. I want you to spread the word that uh, Mother Diane Bogan, Supervisor Diane Bogan, is going to be speaking tonight. And I'm telling you, she's going to do a awesome job, an awesome job. She's an anointed woman of God. And tomorrow night, yours truly will be preaching the gospel right here. And God's going to bless us real good. So thank you for this day. I love you. Thank you for this time. And I want you to make it a great day. And tonight, Mother Bogan is going to preach. And I want you to say, Amen. God bless.